<laughs> What's going on? Welcome back to Real Fans Real Talk. Scoop B. What's up? Yo, the, the people the people needed to hear from you, man, because there's a lot going on in the NBA right now. There's a, a lot that was supposed to be going on in the NBA right now that hasn't happened just yet. Um, but let me let me say this. We we gotta pay homage uh to an NBA legend, just a, a legend, period. Before we before we get into what's going on in the current state of the NBA, I cannot start this show off without paying homage to the great, the great, great, great Bill Russell, one of the greatest basketball players to ever lace up a pair of sneakers and step on a court. He passed away uh, yesterday. Um, and I, and, and as soon as I saw the news, you know, that was the other reason I had to get you back on his scoop. Um, cause I, I really wanted to, to, to hear you speak about one of the greatest, uh, players that we've ever, uh, seen play the game of basketball, uh, Bill Russell. He had a lot of rebounds. Um, Bill Russell, <clears throat> um, I feel like in a world where the point guard, shooting guard, small forward, um, in basketball are the wide receiver running back and quarterback in comparison in the NFL. The big man doesn't get the same love as, as the, as the more sexier position. And I'm here to tell you uh, that Bill Russell um, is, is if it weren't for him, a lot of uh, liberties that players have today, uh, they wouldn't have whether, whether that's just the way we talk about the goal conversation, uh, civil rights, uh, specifically uh, for how much he advocated for uh, Muhammad Ali uh, when he did not want to uh, go to the draft uh, and, and, and really represented uh, well a race in a world where um, Black men playing in Boston was a very just interesting thing to observe. Uh, and I'll leave that open-ended for you to, you know, dissect that how you, we're all thinking, but I, I'll add that, you know, specifically to, to Bill Russell's um, journey, um, I, I think he he was ahead of the curve and, and was well beyond his years, because I feel like by the time, you know, the NBA and more money became involved in the 90s, guys got a lot quieter, um, and I kind of feel like we're in a renaissance, if you will, where uh, guys who make a lot more money are more socially conscious, have platforms to speak, and are unafraid to do so. And uh, we owe a lot to Bill Russell, as well as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, as well as um, others who paved the way uh, for us to be sitting on Zoom right now and having conversations like we're having them. Absolutely, absolutely. Um... I was and I, I like I'm not I'm not going I'm not going to get at the 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 Boston fans right now because I I you know I can get at them plenty of time because right now I want to celebrate you know that that great man Bill Russell, um but I was watching something the other day and um I got oh, man I can't believe I, I I'm can't remember who who was saying it but they were telling a story about Bill Russell and how he was saying you know during that time he said you know I could score, you know I can handle the ball, but. I was a great rebounder. I was a great defensive player. That's what I wanted to focus on. And, you know, I let the guys, you know, Bob Cousy and uh, and those guys shoot the ball, handle the ball. And I just thought that was dope because, you know, one of the, the, the I, I don't want to say necessarily slight that people try to throw at Bill Russell is because he didn't have the, monst the monstrous offensive numbers of, say, Wilt Chamberlain. So, you know, they try to, you know, sometimes take away from his greatness because he didn't average 30 in, 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 in 12, you know, um, I say, you know, 11 championships, one as a, as a, as a player and coach, you know, you can't really, you can't just look past the dominance that that man had, including against, you know, Will Chamberlain was also one of the all time greatest, you know, to, to ever play that, to play that game. Um, but to do it in a time where, where Bill Russell was, was doing it, you know, to play in a city where, you know, even to this day is not the, you know, the, the best for, you know, athletes of color, you know, um, yeah, we hear stories all the time about the fans in Boston and how they treat opposing teams and sometimes how they treat their own players, Bill Russell included, 
you know, in that. And this is someone who delivered championship after championship after championship, you know, for the, the city of, 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 of Boston. Um, so to, just to do what he did during that time, you know, and to, and to still be one of the biggest stars in the sport of basketball, you know, because we kind of forget, you know, and I want I go back to the, the Texas Mighty Miners um, and what they went through in, in, as far as college basketball during that time and, you know, that whole that whole season, that run that they went on, you know, during during that that time, things was a, was a lot different. The mental stress that that African-American players had to deal with, you know, it was kind of unmatched, you know, and, and guys deal with stuff today. But, you know, when you and. You know, I can't be on we on TV still, so I can't just be throwing the N-word out there. But when you have to deal with with those type of racial epithets and things like uh, of that nature and then still come out and, and, and be the most dominating force on the basketball court every night and try to win championships, it's, it's not easy. And and that man did it to the T. Uh, unparalleled level of um, focus. Yes. Nation. Knowing your purpose was bigger than you, knowing that you you stand on the shoulders of of, of giants who came before you, um, so I, I think he he understood his role, his purpose, and um, he's Bill Russell. Yeah. What what what, what more can you say? Um, I, I I think he's on the Mount Rushmore of of NBA players. Um, you know, he's definitely one of the, the greatest, like I said, of of all time. So again, uh, rest in peace to the late, great Hall of Fame center, Bill Russell. You will truly be missed, sir. Um, one, one last thing before, before, before we start talking about the current NBA and what's going on, I just got a, I just had a, a memory of uh, the picture that he took, you know, in support of Colin Kaepernick when he got down and he kneeled for Colin Kaepernick. And it was just like, you know, even you know, into going into his later years in life, he was still advocating for his people. And that's one of the things for me that's going to put him ahead of a lot of people, a lot of basketball players, because he definitely was not afraid to to either stand up or take a knee, you know, in, in, in support of, uh, of his people, just in support of what's right. You know, so big shout out to Bill Russell, condolences to his family, his friends, to the NBA community, because this is truly... A, a, a huge uh, loss for the for the NBA.